Greetings, brothers and sisters. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I thank God for this day. This is the day that the Lord has made. And we shall rejoice in it. Today I'm going to speak again about those who are leading the people into darkness for their own bellies to be fulfilled. I'm going to speak by starting in the word of God uh, according to the book of Acts chapter 18 verse number 9 and 10. Hallelujah. Let us read because we can't do anything without the word of God. The word of God is a foundation of everything because we believe. Amen. Even in rebuke, the word of God is there. Even in exposure, the word of God is there because it is the word of God that exposes people when they do wrong things in his name. Hallelujah. I'm going to read this and I'm going to thank the Lord for this opportunity. In 2020, the most wonderful time I've ever had. And I thank Jesus for all what is he doing even right now. There are a lot of warnings, people. Be warned. Warnings didn't start now. Warnings were written for us in this generation. When you read in the book of the New Testament, all the books that are written, they've got lots of warnings. Warnings from Jesus. Warnings from the writers like Peter's, the John's. And the uh, um, the James, all these warnings are for the church. I'm talking about the true church of Jesus. That when you walk on earth, be careful. Hallelujah. Okay. Acts chapter 18, verse number 9 and 10. Then spake the Lord to Paul in the night by a vision. Be not afraid, but speak. And hold not thy peace. And hold not thy peace. Do not be afraid, but speak. That was the Lord speaking to Paul in a vision. Right? For I am with thee, and no man shall set on thee to hurt thee. For I have much people in this city. Do you know what make us to speak and to expose darkness and those charlatans? It is because the Lord have already commanded us to speak and fear no man and there will be no man that will harm us. And there will be no man that will harm me. Though they have been trying but they are fading daily because the Lord has already spoken. And his word is yes and amen. Hallelujah. The Lord said, for I have much people in this city. So God is concerned about the, his people in the cities that are deceived in the same city by people who call themselves pastors and prophets and whatever, doctors, bishops. Hallelujah. Well, the Lord has spoken. So that's why I won't keep quiet because God has got much people in this city. Speak where you are. Expose darkness where you are because God has much people in this city where you are. If you keep quiet in the city, you're going to be in trouble with the Lord because he has given you a go ahead. He speaks to you in your visions, in dreams. He speaks to you to expose darkness, but you are hiding because you are afraid. Listen, brother or sister out there, fear not, for the Lord is with you. And no man will harm you, nor hurt you. Because God has much people in that city. It's not me. It is written. Read it. Acts chapter 18, verse number 9 and 10. That's the word of God. 
All right. I just want to give this first warning to these people who are troubling me in my sleep, coming to my house. These charlatans coming with their wives and their congregations. They use them at night when they are sleeping. Some they know, some they don't know. Because when they see this happening, they think because it is their pastors, so it is right. No, it's not right. No, it's not right. No, it's not right. It's not right to come to other people's houses while they are sleeping. You are a witch. You can't sleep in your comfort house. Why can't you sleep in your house, you evil pastors? Why are you not sleeping in your houses? Instead, you leave your houses to come and trouble us in our own houses. You even taught your congregation witchcraft and Satanism. I am not going to be quiet. I'm going to speak as the Lord has commanded me to speak. I'm tired of you people. I'm tired of Christ ambassadors, members, and their, and their leaders. I'm tired of Christ embassy. Actually, both of you, Pastor Chris Oyakilome and Pastor Ida Peterside, you are working together to do evil. Both of you. The Lord showed me that both of you are the same. Whatever Chris is doing is the same thing that Pastor Ida is doing. I don't care how much you transform yourself. I have the Spirit of God in me. The Spirit of the, of, of the Lord is upon me. Even if you can transform me yourselves as my ex-husband, I can see you. And I'm tired of it. That's why I'm telling the whole world. I want the whole world to know who you are, what you're doing. You are material people. You are not pastors. You are not preaching the word of God. You are preaching material. Whatever that was stolen and taken to the pit underground, you stole those things so that you may supply them to your members, those who are agreeing with you, so that you may win them to, the, to, 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 to hell. You are winning these souls and give them whatever they need in the flesh so that they may die and go straight to hell. That's your mission. God has never called you for that. You called yourself. Even if there was a calling from the Lord, but it is clear right now that you have backslided from the Lord and you are not even willing to repent for you have made a decision in your own heart to attack the children of God who are still walking with the Lord. You are seducers of the bride of Christ. That's why you sleep with every woman in the church. You sleep with them physically and you sleep with them spiritually. You evil man. You even taught other men in your congregation to do the same thing. Now you shall know the truth. And the truth shall set the others free. And thereafter you call their spiritual husband. You are, those people must not believe any word that come out of your mouth because everything that you say, it's a lie. You are the one that is a spiritual husband to those women. You even sleep with women that are actually married because what are you doing? You are doing evil. You are aborting the ministries and, and you are aborting the things of God from those women. You want to take those things for yourself because you are selfish and great. Now you shall know the truth. I'm saying it loudly without fear. I know the God I'm serving. He's holy. He's, he's God. He's might. He's glorious. And he has judgments. Your wife knows that. Pastor Ida, your wife knows that you are doing evil. She knows that very well. 
you also, Pastor, uh, 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 you, Pastor uh, Chris, your wife knew what you were doing. I don't know now whether you are married or what, but what I know is you are, you are like a dog traveling all over, sleeping with women. On Sunday, and then you stand in front of people on TV and say, praise the Lord. Which Lord are you praising? Which Lord are you praising? You people are sleeping with virgins because you know what you are doing to them. You are taking things. You are, have touched the holy things of God. That's how wicked you have become. You think I'm afraid to say these things? I'm not afraid. I'm going to tell you straight away. I'm not saying that for people to believe me. I am saying what God has showed me about you and he wants me to tell you and the whole world what you've been doing behind those congregations. You don't end up only to virgins. You even steal babies. What are you doing with these babies? You are wicked people. You are very wicked. You are dead. What is walking and talking is just a cop. You are empty inside. Because if you have the Spirit of God, firstly, you should fear the Lord. As the Bible says, you must fear the Lord in trembling. You don't fear the Lord. You are boastful people. Then now you must know, here I am. All these years, you thought I was not going to say anything, isn't it? I've said it. And you know what? The Lord continues to show me. He continues. It's either you repent or you perish. And it looks like you don't want to repent. And when a pastor Chris, you are not a pastor. Because you are a inyanga. And Sangoma spirit you are working on. That lady that she was saying that she saw something in your house, she is right. There is a python spirit in your house. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, man. You go to those that you victimize at night and speak rubbish and nonsense to them to believe lies that comes out of your mouth. As the Bible speaks about the spirit of a frog. False prophet. You have deceived many women. In their sleep, you pretend as a, a good, loving boyfriend because you want to sleep with them spiritually and do what? And abort the things of God. You are a wicked beast. No human being who's alive, who have a spirit of God, who can do such a thing. It means somewhere, somehow, you have missed it. And you know what you are doing. Not to say you don't know. You know very well what you are doing. Don't think those people that you are you attack at night and do whatever you're doing. They don't. They know. They speak. They are afraid. They don't know how to talk. You know why? Because you have made them to be afraid of you and you gave them false promises because of their weaknesses and because of the material of this world, what they've desired, you promised them that you'd give it to them, but you didn't tell them that you'd take their souls to hell, to your father, the devil. I told you before, I said your kingdom has fallen. <laughs> Oh yes, it has fallen. And you, Peter sighed. There's, there's nothing different. Whatever Chris is doing, you are doing it also. You are doing it also. Including your wife that he's been, she's been used by you and Chris. Now you got me. If I'm lying, let her speak. Let her come public and speak. If I'm lying. Wanda was the father of that baby. Huh. And stop trying.
trying to threaten me coming to my house here when I'm sleeping because I see you. You better stop. I have warned you. I told you to stay away from me. You continue to follow me. Now you got what you deserve. I told you that I will expose you. And now I'm exposing everything. Two men in my life are troubling me. Two pastors. Evil pastors. Pastor Chris and Oya Kiloma and Pastor Ida Peter's side. I'm sick of it. Then you must know that the Lord that I serve, his name is Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the King of Glory. I didn't send you to the devil to become what you are today. I didn't. I didn't. And when the Lord sent me to your churches, when a pastor Peter said, I came to you and I told you what God says you must do. You didn't do it because you are selfish and greedy. Now you have dragged that congregation into the pit of hell. Because you wanted to be famous, isn't it? You send me your secretary. Right? To bring evil in my house. She will also have her portion in hell if she doesn't repent. I don't want to see her also because you, oh, you're still sending her. Get out of my house, Ida. With your congregation, with those men that you have hired, that are working for you. They are your zombies. Exactly like Chris. Chris has got zombies. You also have zombies. How far will you go, you people? How will you escape hell? You'll do nothing on me. Your injections will not work for greater is he that is in me than he that is in you. Now you know. And stop coming to my bed. <laughs> stop coming to my bed and stop prickling me with your needles. I don't know what are you trying to do. I'm sick and tired of it. Stop coming under the house where I'm living. Get out of my house. And you, Chris, you travel even with water, with your wheelchair. That wheelchair is actually meaning that your ministry has fallen. You better repent and go back to God because you have become antichrist. You are against the will of God. You're busy now with politics. You left the church. I'm tired of you. Now, that's why I'm telling everybody that everybody must know and they must be aware of you. And God is God and he's God alone. He doesn't need your assistant. You are not Jesus when a pastor Chris. You'll never be one. Jesus went to the cross himself alone. And I see what you are a fake because you are using all those dolls that you are using. Your body is a doll. You are a fake. It is written, touch not my anointed one and do my prophets no harm. This is what happened. If you touch his anointed one as he has already worn in his word. You never come to South Africa God, because God has sent you. You came to South Africa because Satan has sent you to come and destroy the ministries of this country because you have undermined this land. The men and women of God of this land, you undermine them because you think, because you fry your hair, your hair and you, you, you make up your face and you've got long nails and you wear a white suit. 
You can deceive anyone the way you want. People thought you were a man of God. But in reality, to us who listen diligently, see that there's something that is not right with your ministry. Your gospel is not right. That's why the Lord had to send some of us to go and listen. And we find the truth. And when you see that we found the truth, then we came after us. So it must come to an end. You repent and go back to God. And when you repent, because you're a public speaker, I'm saying it for th- again. You need to repent publicly. Pastor Chris, you are the head of all these charlatans. You. They go and hide in you because many people are following you thinking that you are the real man of God and thinking that you are holy. That's why you always want to wear the white suits. You are a deceiver. It is written in the word of God. You are a deceiver. And you take advantage of women. The first thing that you do, you destroy their marriages. You cause problems in their marriages so that they may separate from their husband or their husband may die. And then you go and want to take over that woman. You are a beast. You're not a human being. You don't have a spirit of God. Wonder which spirit that resides in you. Because a really human being cannot, even a person who's not born again, cannot do such a thing. You are doing even more than the unbelievers. Everything that you are doing there, it's a show. You boast about yourself. You have taken the inheritance of other people. You are a thief. You are a thief. I see you, yes, wearing a white pant with a blue shirt. Where did you get that? Where did you stole that? Where did you steal that, Pastor Chris? You have stolen that, right? You don't end up there. We also wear a white pant, which is a white trouser, actually, and a golden yellowish shirt. You are the gold digger. You are not a man of God. You are a gold digger, not a man of God. You go to our houses, to our families, you dig things. You hide yourself sometimes. You paint yourself with other things you think you cannot see. God is a spirit, Pastor Chris. Have you forgot that? That God is a spirit? I want those who are following you to hear this message. I want the whole world to hear this message. People of God, wake up from your sleep. Many of these charlatans are buried alive. The spirit of the Lord. (laughs) This is not something that I've seen yesterday. No, I've seen it for years. You are stealing children. Pastor Chris, you are stealing ministries. You use those ministries because you know that you don't have power. You sold your soul to the devil. Why are you not telling the whole world how the devil has used you? You travel all over the world doing evil. Why are you not returning to God? Were you waiting for people like us to come and speak about you like this? You are not smart. Though you pretend as if you are smart. But you are not. I wonder what are you doing, you and your congregation and all you pastors from Nigeria and your congregations to the graveyards. I spoke about that. I'm going to repeat it again. And you are also using the spirits that the devil have planted in this country. I'm going to talk about my own country right now. All those people that the devil has planted the spirit of Sangomas and Nyangas, Chris Oyakiloma has taken those powers for himself. Oh, you heard me very well. I have said it. 
Because I've wondered when I saw some other people who are not born again, but what are they doing with Chris and their families, Anyangas and Sangomas? So you are actually mixing. South Africa, wake up from your sleep. All those that are busy, you better stop because you are controlled in the night. I'm seeing the spirit so many. It has affected those who call themselves celebrities. Celebrities, wake up from your sleep. You are doomed. I don't care how much you transform yourself, Chris, into whatever, because you can transform yourself in many things. We know it is written in the word of God that Satan knows very well how to transform himself as an angel of light. He who have ears must hear what I'm saying, as an angel of light. And he even taught his apostles to do the same thing. Wakers of iniquities. Deceitful workers. Even some of your pastors, they know what you're doing, but they are afraid to talk. I don't know. They fear men than fearing the living God, the creator of, of heaven and earth, who one day and very soon is going to destroy both the flesh and the soul in hell. They don't fear that one. But instead, they fear man because this man is feeding them with money. He's making them to be famous. There's a spirit of witchcraft in you, Pastor Chris. Yes. Spirit of a witch. <laughs> You've been trouble. You've been a trouble to us. All what you're saying, you lied. Let me tell you one thing. I never got born again in a church. And those who got born again in a church, my God, I feel sorry for them because many, they can't get out. Even if they get out, they are attached because they gave their lives not to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. They gave their lives to you because your brother, Pastor Ken, used to say you are a, you are a Jesus in a suit. Huh. Bones in the suit with Jesus. I said bones in the suit. Your magic is over. Your kingdom has fallen. You know why? Because Matthew. Because Matthew chapter number 6 speaks about the Lord's Prayer. Does that sound familiar to you? Remember the book you wrote telling the people not to say that prayer? I'm going to read it for you in case you lost your ears to the devil. The Bible says, the Lord says, After this manner therefore pray ye, from verse 9, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Our Father lives in heaven, Chris. Stop telling those people who are your puppets to tell the congregations that you are their father. You are not the father to anybody. You are the father to your own children, the biological children. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You don't have a kingdom, Chris. The one that you try to build, it has fallen. Because the kingdom of God belongs to God. It is written. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. It is the Lord who provide a day to us, not you, Pastor Chris. 
So you better go publicly and apologize to the congregation of my father in heaven that you have taught people not to say the prayer that Jesus taught them, the Lord's prayer. You better go and speak publicly that you made a big mistake. I don't know how to do, make a big mistake, Mr. PhD, because you are smart according to your PhD. But your smartness has showed your foolishness that has come out. Your foolishness has shown that you are not smart, actually. You have become a fool. And you must forgive whosoever did to you. We didn't do anything to you, Pastor Chris, that you may hate us so much that you can even travel from sea to sea seeking for those proselytes that are given to the Lord who gave their life to Jesus. You want to grab them back and take them back to hell. According to the book of Matthew 23, what have we done to you? You leave your country and come to this country and go to other countries and take the proselytes of Jesus that 